Hello everyone, this is Yusuf from Cubat and in this uh, video we're going to learn how to create a multiplayer game using Steam. So our game will be on Steam, like you can invite your friends and uh, play together. So the first thing we need to do is uh, set up our project. The first thing we need to have is those two folders, I'll put the links in the description. Let's start by extracting them and let's delete those two and let's delete the next 46 and net standard as well and let's open this folder go to transports and then into the face punch folder let's cut it and let's paste it right here and let's delete this folder now what we need to do is let's rename this to steamworks and uh, let's open this folder in a new window because what we want to do is replace those files into this folder inside the runtime face punch and right here and that should be done let's go here and delete unity it's an empty folder let's delete this and let's drop this into the assets folder of our project okay now uh, it's done the other thing we need to do is going to the package manager and install a package called netcode let's go to unit history and it's called netcode for game objects and we installed it. it's already installed in our project so that's it for our packages and stuff let's start by doing our setup scene so here i have only a like a canvas with a panel that contain a text mesh processing loading let's start by creating an empty game object let's call it the network manager and let's add the component network manager and this component will be handling all of our networking uh, commands and stuff now in this setting the only thing we need uh, right now is this uh, this option which contain only two options and in our tutorial we only need the face punch transport so let's click on it it will add the script for us and the next one is let's create a empty game object let's call it a scene loader and let's scene loader manager and let's add a new script and here you need to like go to the next scene once the first scene is fully loaded and in other words when the the network manager is loaded and how do we do that we do the an enumerator uh, not here of course uh, enumerator let's call it uh, load main scene and here let's say yield return new wait until and now let's uh, using unity dot net code wait until let's say here let's make an anonymous function and network manager dot singleton not equal to null and this should basically like wait until our network manager like do its uh, awake method and here what we want to do is basically go to the next scene and how the way we do that is using unity engine dot scene management and here a scene manager dot load scene let's say let's call it main menu and this will load the main menu we will edit the scene name if it's wrong and here let's start coroutine load main menu load main scene should be a main menu okay this is all of it for here and uh, let's go here save now let's name this scene as a main menu reload okay it should be like it built settings it's main menu let's try our uh, now first of all we need to make sure that steam is opened because the face punch transport is like dependent on steam steam should be opened let's try and here we go like the first scene finished loading and went to the other scene 
that's it for the setup.